The LTA and the Tennis Foundation hosted a competition at the National Tennis Centre for football clubs delivering tennis as part of the Premier League for Sport programme. Twelve clubs took part, each with a team of two boys, two girls and a tennis leader. We run 12 sports across the Premier League for Sport programme um, and it's very much about using the power of football to engage and, and get people participating. For some young people, the opportunity maybe to go along to a, a sports club may not be right for them, um, but the idea to represent their football team, put on their shirt, the power of the brand of the local football team and obviously as, as the Premier League, it's absolutely fantastic, it gives them a great opportunity. So they can pull on the actual club colours and represent the club as well, I know that's a big thing for some of our guys. Gets people playing for hopefully a little bit more, you know, we need more numbers playing this sport in this country to try and produce better, better quality players. So we've got clubs up and down the country obviously and they're used as hubs to then give young people, particularly in hard to reach areas, access to sports that they might not otherwise have a chance to play and this is the culmination of a year's work and it's the finals here so we're going to find out who the national champions are today. So the 12 teams are competing today and we're going to have a boys team winner, a girls team winner and then the points we put together for an overall winning team and then this afternoon the, every team will go off uh, to see some tennis at Wimbledon. Excited to go to Wimbledon, I want to see all the players and watch them do their thing. It's like a once in a lifetime chance for us and it's like I love Wimbledon, it's just really cool. It's not every day you get a chance to come to the National Tennis Centre, you know, where a lot of young prospects play great from tennis all over the world come and play and compete in a tournament against you know, similar youngsters from similar different backgrounds. Tennis has been a big hit to bring them here to a, a national centre is excellent for them and gives them a great opportunity to see more about the sport and learn more. Obviously we're a football club so it's all about team sport but I think tennis is a lot more mental because you've got, you, you are on your own out there, you've not got teammates that you can blame for your mistakes or cheer when you do something well so it does, I think it does improve the kids mental strength as much as anything. So it gives them opportunities to keep fit and do something they enjoy with the friends. I like it, I think it's like fun, do it in PE at school. It's really fun and you meet different people, so it's a new experience. I like the thrill, when you really get into it, it's just really fun. There's so much activity going on around a football club, you'd think that would be all consuming. But actually the amount of work that, that goes on in the community, you know, the outreach that the clubs have is, is enormous. And so we're going to have joint winners for the inaugural uh, tennis competition for 2014. So first of all, Wigan Athletic. We have a, a three-year partnership with the Premier League. Um, it's a £16.8 million partnership to give more young people the opportunity to take part in sport. Our joint winners are Stoke City. We're committed to the partnership, working with Sport England and the Premier League um, to get more young people participating in tennis over the next three years. Yeah!